In this video we look at the awesome Los Blocks Minis. Hey everybody, it's Collector Daddy and welcome back to the Collector Daddy channel. Today we're looking at these awesome Los Blocks Minis. Uh, and we're going to look specifically today at the Batman one, which is this cheeky little dude here. He looks pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this one up and we'll take a look at exactly who he is and what he does and how he works, okay? So these are pretty cool. They're made by a company called Lars, uh, and we think they're awesome. They're available to buy at the moment on eBay, and hopefully they'll be available in other places soon as well. So we'll move these guys out of the way. These will be for another video. And then what we'll do, we'll just start with the Batman, and we'll take a look, and we'll build him for you, uh, and we'll see how he comes out. So first things first, let's get him open. And these are pretty cool. Mini Los Blocks, they're called. I made in China. So you get in there, which is pretty cool. You get uh, instructions, which has quite a few parts, but that's cool. You've got the uh, bit there that tells you how to build it. So the main thing is first, we're building around his body and his head, and then they all go together. So what we'll do, and these are cool because these are little mini blocks. So they're a bit smaller than normal Lego blocks. So I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can see. So these are, Awesome little mini blocks. What we'll do, we'll tip them all out and we'll get them ready so that you can see this awesome little Batman character being made. Oh, and you have to be careful because the bits are very small. As you can see there, cool little bits. Um, but that's pretty awesome. So, right. First things first, let's understand what we need to do first. So we've got our first bit, and we have these little parts here that go on here. Now what I've just noticed about this is it awesome, is it's actually like a big Batman robot with a little mini Batman that rides him inside. So as you can see, we find a little guy out and he's literally microscopic. We'll just zoom in and we'll look at him. It's a mini little Batman driver. So that's pretty awesome. So what we do, do the next stage for you. We have got to put Make the little carriage for him to go in, so he's lots of little parts, uh, but it's pretty cool. So, look awesome when it's done, and hopefully we can build all the other ones at some point. And we can have a big uh, sort of show with these guys. So, and the little man, he just goes in there, in there, and that's awesome. Just got a little driver man, and we just put a couple of these different colour ones in there, just to make him stand out more than anything else. I think. And obviously it's part of the colour scheme. So that's our little man ready. So let's move on to the next. Now this bit has some cool see-through bits. And what you do, you put these little blue coloured bits on here. And this makes it so that when it's all built, you've got a different sort of translucent sort of see-through bit. So that's going to look pretty awesome. So there we go. So next step... We put these little bits round here. This is really quite easy to do. It's very good because it shows you on the instructions. It shows you exactly what parts you need each time to make it work. Um, so I thought this might be a bit tricky um, to do as a video, but actually it's really... Oh, man's dropped out. It's pretty simple to do. Obviously age rated, uh, obviously not for very small children. It actually says age is 14 plus. Now that's because the very small parts, um, so obviously you wouldn't want children probably under sort of three, four, five playing with these, uh, but actually because they're quite intricate um, and the type of theme they are, um, people, you know, like older kids like uh, more sort of, I suppose, uh, stylish Batmans and things. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just something to bear in mind. So we've got that part done then. So that's pretty awesome. So now we're going on to building the top of Batman. Okay, so the next part, very, very simple. Pop these guys on here. That's it. He's caged in now. He's not going to escape from us again. So very, very, as you can see, managing to do this quite quickly. It doesn't take any real skill to do these, uh, which is a great thing about them. Um, very, very good. So there we go. So he's taking form now. That's the front inside part of Batman's head. And as you can see, it's not, not a massive uh, toy because they are little micro ones. So it's very cool. 
As you can see, guys, we're stopping in between for you. Uh, so I'm going to watch all the boring parts of finding the uh, part, the Lego cut bits, because that's probably the longest part of this is finding all the little Lego bits because they are quite small. So it's just identifying which ones they are. Um, but apart from that, it's all right. It's pretty good. But we do want to show you it being built so you can see just how quick and easy, once you've got all your parts sorted out, it actually is. Yeah, there's little bat ears by the looks of it. That's pretty cool. There we go, there's his little bat ears whose head's taking shape now. So we're now building his face panel. Now this is a bit tricky because you have to line everything up and use all the little front fascia bits to join his face together. So, put these on here. So we'll just show you some of the little parts that you do need. We have these little flat off bits which are pretty cool. Um, and they hold his face together. Uh, so it's a very, very good design, actually. Uh, I do think it's very clever. We just put the finishing touch on for this part, his little white eyes. Pretty cool, so they pop on there. <laughs> that looks awesome. Right, now we should be pretty much ready with our head. Uh, yes, look, that clips on there. And there's Batman's face. And it's got a hinge up, and you can see the little driver guy inside. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. So that's his head. Now we not need to do the side bits on his head. And this is very, very easy, uh, which is really good. Uh, these go on the side here. And they cover up the face part. So that's the sides of his head. There you go, so that's his head complete pretty much. We just need to put the back on. There's a plate that goes on the back, which we have to make, so we'll make that now. So here we go, we put the middle part on, we put the cross parts on, and we put the outside parts on. And there we go. And then that simply pushes on to the back, like so. And that's the full part, the full part of his head. Oh. Right, and now his head's done, we move on to the body. Awesome. So we have to start at the bottom again and make another sort of cube structure. Now this part's actually pretty cool because it's actually making the bottom of him in his utility belt. Uh, and that's why it's yellow colour, so the classic uh, sort of Batman utility belt. So it's a pretty cool design to be fair. And we put these on here. If you have any questions about this, guys, <coughs> Uh, just please do ask away. We love answering questions on these type of cool sets because uh, they are great fun. There we go. That's it. So that's the bottom part of the body. We then put a couple of these on. Uh, we sort of seal that part off. There we go. So as you can see, that oh, we've missed one part out. We need to put another one of those in there. Put another yellow part in there, and that makes up his belt. So there we go, and that part goes on there. So that is now the sort of the front of him and his utility belt. So the next part we're building up his body, and this is just to make his body um, as big as it should be. So very simple, nice and easy to do. Put these on here. Those on there push them on Now these are quite uh, they can be quite tricky sometimes because they are little pieces they're about half the size I would probably say of some of the other blocks that you can buy uh, name me no names but you all know who they are um, so yeah but it is cool because they are micro that's what makes it um, sort of really really fun to build now is going to be the fun part we get to put on we need to find it a little Batman logo. Anybody see the Batman logo anywhere? Let's turn them over and find them. Okay, so we found all the pieces and now we get to put them on. So the little Batman logo, which is pretty sweet, goes on there. How awesome is that? You've got a cool little Batman logo. Then on here, these little flat off bits go on there. And then a flat bit there. And then we've got these two little bits with these little hinges 
hinges are always to fix something else onto, which is pretty cool. And then once that's on there, that one goes on top of there. So there we go. So it's definitely looking more like Batman's torso now. Now, can anybody guess what that hinge is for? Well, we're gonna build it now, what it's for. And it's pretty ingenious, actually. Oh, there we go. Can you guess what it is yet, just by looking at this? Any ideas what this is? Obviously, it's on the back. What could it possibly be? Well, I'll tell you. It is actually his back cape. How awesome is that? So you've got like a hinged back cape that can flap up and down. So we think that's pretty sweet, to be fair. So there we go. Look, it's hinged to sort of a back cape. That is awesome. So that's the back cape. So now we're making mini micro robots arm, uh, robot Batman's arm. Now, this is a bit tricky. So it goes on there. Put a little bit in the middle there. A bit the end there these are little arms and that's it yeah that's it that's actually really good and then he's got a little bit there for his sort of arm joint and then that actually attaches in there how awesome is that a little bat arm with a little hand that's wicked right so really like that so obviously next we've got to sort of replicate uh, another arm and he holds a batarang so we've pre-built his arm and now's the funny part we've got a very, very sort of bespoke bat wing to make, uh, which is pretty strange to be fair, because you have to make it, makes it like a sort of hinged uh, bat wing, uh, batarang, sorry, and you put a little hinge on there, then a little <clears throat> hinge on there, then what you've got to do, you've got to join the two parts of the batarang together using this little stick part so this is very bizarre um bit of a weird design but it's awesome because it actually works that's the thing it does make a cool little batarang there we go so there's his batarang and that's it and we put a little batarang in his hand and there he is, he's got his batarang, so that's pretty awesome actually. That's pretty good, so he's there ready with his So believe it or not guys, we're actually almost there. It looks like there's a lot of, yeah there is, they put a lot of spare parts in there in case you lose any. Because all we've got to do now is literally build his feet. And then just a couple of little grey blocks and his legs, sorry. Have a couple of little uh, uh, black blocks on the bottom. Make sure the black blocks are on the bottom. And same with these. Put these together. There we go. And then they push on the bottom of him, the other side of that block we put on at the start. And that's literally it, as simple as that. Now what you have to do is you have to put Batman's body on his head. And that's why you put that one little block there. Uh, let's just have a look. That's it. How awesome is that? So there we go, guys. That is our little... Batman, so the micro Los Blocks guy. He's pretty awesome with our little driver inside because he's like a big giant robot Batman. That's awesome. Let's take a proper look at this guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you again soon.